Hello friends, I am Dr. Deep Chandraja, Senior Cardiologist and Clinical Lead Cardiac Electrophysiologist, Kaveri Hospital, Chennai. The field of cardiac electrophysiology and pacing is a very exciting field and has undergone tremendous changes in the last two decades. New new techniques have made RF ablations simpler and more importantly very safe for our patients. In this part, we will first look about two advancements in catheter technology. One is the high density mapping catheter, very commonly used catheter in India, it is called the HD grid. It has multiple electrodes, we can quickly create a geometry of the heart and study the electrical points in different regions of the heart at a very fast and accurate pace. And also we will look into contact force catheter technology. Following this, I am going to give you a gist about pacemaker and defibrillator therapies. This is called a leadless pacemaker. This you can see is the size of a small coin. The advantage of this leadless pacemaker is it can be taken into the heart from the right side or the left side groin. It doesn't need any incision and can be placed inside the heart without any wires connected to any battery. So hence it is called a leadless and this is the world's smallest pacemaker. This is a conventional pacemaker. The size has come down over the years to as small as this. We also have high voltage pulse generators which functions just like a pacemaker but also discharges high voltage current in the form of a shock when the patient develops very dangerous heart rhythms called ventricular tachycardias. This is called a defibrillator which is a little larger than a pacemaker and it's also placed in the same position beneath the skin on the left side preferably and it is connected to the heart with certain wires. This high density mapping catheter called the HD grid. It has at least 64 electrodes on its surface it can be flexed in all directions, it can be moved in all directions, it can be locked. And we use this high density mapping for all complex arrhythmia circuits, like the one shown in my background, we just used in an atypical atrial flutter in a patient post mitral valve replacement. We also use this catheter for complex ventricular tachycardia mapping, like endoepicardial mapping, and so on. This is a contact force open irrigation ablation catheter. This is a very special catheter. It can flex in both directions and most importantly it can sense how much of force that we apply at the tip. Hence it is a very important catheter that we use while ablating complex arrhythmia circuits especially within the left atrium so that we know understand how much contact we apply against the heart's myocardium. We take care not to apply more than 15 to 20 grams of force. We only apply like 5 to 10 gram of force. So it increases the safety of the procedure. It also helps us to understand whether we are in true touch with the heart's surface at all or not. In this video today, friends, you saw the HD grid high density mapping catheter, contact force ablation catheter, pacemaker, the world's smallest pacemaker, what we call the leadless pacemaker and the defibrillator technologies. Thank you.